Hello, everyone. This is Dr. Cui. So, uh, in this video, I'd like to introduce the Yosemite Step 2 C key uh, um, I'd like, um, preparation, and also I will give you some suggestions for this exam. So, Step 2 C key, as the name indicated, is, is so called uh, clinical knowledge. So, basically, it's easier for people who has uh, uh, a lot of uh, clinical experience, but uh, a little difficult for the Examines who has a little uh, clinical experience, but still, actually, it's, uh, those questions are doable if you uh, finish complete those uh, question banks and uh, also reading, uh, finish reading a lot of uh, uh, textbooks related to the uh, clinical. So. Here are some notes I'd like to let you know that uh, they test uh, almost everything about the clinic, including internal medicine, surgery, uh, OBGY, pediatrics, and uh, and also it includes some a lot of uh, some a lot of behavioral questions, and so as statistics um, from uh, October uh, two thousand twenty. Um, uh, the USME added a lot of uh, behavioral questions uh, in this exam. So that's why I highlight, highlighted uh, this uh, part as a red color. So you can see that. So in order to let you pay attention to this part, so, um, actually, I, uh, I would suggest you to check if there are any other new study materials focus on this part after uh, preparing for all the uh, all other parts uh, sections. So if you do well in this part of the behavior questions, you probably can boost your score uh, higher. So normally people start as IMG, they need to spend like a six to 10 months to prepare for it. And you can see this, uh, the time is, range is much shorter than the step one. So, uh, so actually, it's, I would say it's uh, much easier and uh, pretty straightforward to prepare for this part. You just need to do the uh, U-word and uh, check the U-word notes for those uh, uh, difficult uh, sections. And also use the ambos as a uh, compensatory study material uh, as well. So normally people just uh, repeat U-word for twice and then they should, 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 good, should be good to go. And the, for the tools used a lot, uh, ANKAI. And also, as I mentioned, the, the step one uh, exams, uh, you just need to use it uh, to prepare for it, uh, depends on your own style. So, <laughs> so just use ANKAI um, as you wish. Um, the forum I suggested, uh, including uh, Facebook and Reddit, and uh, also the, uh, the Reddit also has a uh, predictor for the step two C key. So you can definitely uh, use it to, uh, to pre predict your uh, real scores. Um, if it's not uh, acceptable, so you can probably you need to prepare it, uh, uh, pre uh, use more material to prepare it before, um, uh, before it takes up. Uh, for the question banks, definitely the official questions you need to you need to do because it's, uh, it's more comparable to the real questions. And also NBME is also recommended and in, it includes the self exams plus shelf test, uh, which are also high yield. And uh, people say that they, uh, they were tested, uh, uh, they, they found the similar questions during the real exam um, compared uh, after doing the, the NBME questions. And also, uh, your word is a must do. Ambos uh, is also good question banks, only uh, about 2,000 questions, and, uh, and it will give you a clue of those uh, uh, difficult questions how, we, how uh, will be asked, how will be asked, and how can you um, answer it in a much easier way. And uh, there are a total eight blocks, uh, which is uh, Longest USME exam, uh, so you need to uh, you need to be prepared, and also you need to practice to sit for a longer time. 
um, compared to step one, which was only seven blocks. And also in the uh, step two CQ, there are a lot of uh, uh, long section questions. It, it either give you a long paragraph to read, like a, a, a literature, uh, the abstract of literature or some uh, new drug, new drug advertisement. Then you need to uh, quickly go through it and uh, and find out the best answer. It normally I would suggest you put those questions at last uh, to finish it. Uh, um, even you have no time to complete all of those questions, so you still can. Um, Pick it, uh, pick it randomly, I would say that. So don't waste your time initially on those questions, just uh, uh, skip it and put it uh, uh, in the last. And also the case to get a higher score for here, because uh, we, uh, we have already known that uh, step one is only past the few, so step two CK is the most important uh, factor uh, for the uh, uh, for the application, so you definitely need to score a higher, uh, as higher as possible. But uh, still, the time, uh, uh, be careful of the time. Uh, if your graduation, if your year, or your year of graduation is uh, it's, uh, longer than 10 years uh, as me, so I would suggest you to uh, pass it as soon as possible. And uh, because it's, uh, our time is so limited, uh, we don't want to waste too much time on this exam. And also, although it's uh, easier for most of people who has a lot of clinical experience, still, I would suggest you to be pre well prepared before uh, taking the real exam. So you don't want to get a lower score or you don't want to uh, have an attempt uh, uh, before application, which may hurt you, hurt your application. So, so as, I'm, as I mentioned uh, several times, uh, it's easier for the clinicians, but a little difficult for the people who have no clinical experience. But, uh, still, if you can, com if you can uh, complete all of those uh, question banks, uh, I believe that you will get a, a better score. So good luck.